I'm here at the Steep Rock Nature Preserve in Washington, Connecticut. It's one of the trails that I do a lot. It's kind of my standby trail. I live about 10 minutes from here. Today I'm kind of thinking about tips for hiking that the, that the below average person might not know if you're someone who's just getting into hiking and you just you, you, you're tempted to go out maybe I've inspired you I have just some some tips that the that the first time hiker should know so I hope you find it entertaining so I almost just toppled down this trail so a word of advice when you're hiking <laughs> make sure you stabilize yourself before you start taking your backpack off and getting your water bottle because <laughs> you could get hurt out here and I don't need to get hurt again I don't know if you can see that, but there's a spider, a little baby spider at the bottom of my water. I'm still going to drink it because I have to, but it brings up another bit of advice I have for people that are hiking. Make sure you bring water with you. There are so many times I see hikers on the trail and they think they're stopping off for a quick hike. It happened to me this week when I hiked and they didn't have any water on them. They, had, they asked me for directions and I noticed they didn't have water. So don't ever go onto a trail, even if you think it's gonna be short and not at least have water. Okay, another piece of, of trail side tips I have to give you, and this one's the guys can probably cover their ears because this one's more for the ladies. Don't ever go hiking after you're, or while you're being treated for UTI because it makes for frequent awkward roads trailside visits. Another piece of advice, and I'm kind of frustrated with myself because I forgot to refill my pack with it, but if you carry a day pack with you, a good thing to keep inside it is garbage, a small garbage bag. So if you see garbage alongside the trail, you can pick it up. It's disappointing that people would do that, but the right thing to do would be to pick it up. So stick a bag in your day pack. It doesn't cost you anything and it can keep the trails clean. I just came across a snake in the front of the trail and it's never happened to me before. It was just a garden snake, but it's, it startles you when it happens. So another tip of advice I have is to look up when you walk and not down at the trail. I'm, I tend to be somebody who looks down because I'm always in deep thought while I'm walking. But what happens is what happened to me just now is I'm unsure if I missed my turn or not. And if I miss my turn, it's going to be a much longer walk back to the car. So. I'm backtracking just a little bit until I recognize something familiar on this trail that I hike often. <laughs> the other thing to consider if you're always looking down when you hike is that you're not taking in what wildlife could be around you or that you could be approaching upon. So I really need to look up more. So I had actually missed my turn off. So it's a good idea that I went back because I would have been another 45 minutes longer on this trail. So, geez, so, you know, some days I can pull it off like I know what I'm doing, and some days like today, I'm below average Jill, and I just, I'm, I can't seem to pull it together. Kind of relates to something I was thinking of earlier today, which is if, if something is meant to happen at that time, things will fall into place easy. And uh, today, I had trouble getting here today. I had some appointments that I had to take care of, and I had things at home that probably could have used my attention. But I wanted to come out today because the next three days are going to be rain, so I probably won't get out. And it just goes to show you, you know, <laughs> I tried to squeeze it in and it just, I probably would have been more productive and, and shined a little bit better if I had stayed at home and done some things there. So that leads me to tip uh, 1,099,000, I guess. Um, have you figured out that all my tips are coming from stuff I'm not doing right today? Um, if you're gonna sit down on a rock, <laughs> make sure that there are ants on it. Oh, damn, I think I went the wrong way again. <sighs> so I'm still uncertain if I went the wrong way. If I did, I'm gonna be late picking my son up from school. I should know in a little bit. So this is a lesson to never do something if you have to force fit it, because it never works out. Phew, I went the right way. <laughs> So that was another experience with an average Jill, or maybe after today it's going to be below average Jill. <laughs> I hope you found it amusing or interesting or maybe even learned something from it. Thanks for watching.